Hey, Bernardo Escobar here, and I'm here to paint the Penguin Premium Format figure by Sideshow. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with painting the flesh on Mr. Penguin here. We want it to look, to have a kind of a pale look, dreary, you know, like he's been in the sewer and, and not seeing so much sun all the time. I'm gonna add some highlights here. I like to start off dark and work my way up so that way I get the undercuts and the wrinkles and the cheekbones already kind of basically shaded and dark. And then with the highlights, it'll add that drama, kind of like forced lighting effect on there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and warm them up just a little bit with a transparent yellow ochre here. Just a quick wash. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add some, uh, some speckling to the portrait, give it some texture. It's very light, because you don't want it to be freckles, but with the layering that I do, this helps break up, you know, some of the surface of the, the skin to make it kind of like pory. Next up, I'm gonna do a red wash. Just picking up all the excess. We don't want the, the red wash to pull up in the wrinkles. Now I'm just going around manipulating that red wash and kind of softening up the, the edge, the water line. And I want to keep some of those hard lines because it kind of gives it that blood vessel-y kind of look to the flesh. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my blue wash, really light. This I want to remove right away because I'm just, again, uh, tinting the flesh with this cool undertone. Right now I'm just blocking in the hair to get a good bead because I know I'm going to be going in and adding a little bit more highlight to give him that pale, creepy vibe to his flesh. And this will help me get a good bead on how light I should go or want to go. So right now I'm just quick blocking even of the eyebrows uh, just to get a, you know, a good frame around since he's got dark hair. Once I missed it, I'll go back and detail the hair later, but right now it's just a quick block of color. Now I'm gonna go into doing some shading around the portrait here. My transparent blush color I have here, well not blush, but just a shading color I use for flesh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give a light mist of a lighter skin tone just on the tops of the cheeks and the nose and stuff. I'm gonna add some lip color. I tend to do the upper lip a shade darker just to give it some shadow. A slight blush color on the gums. Give it a purple tinge to it just so they look a little bruised or uh, diseased, if you will. Now for the teeth, I'm gonna do a slight dirty white, like a yellowy tan or buff. These won't be perfect as I'm gonna after I'm done with base coating them, I'll go seal. That way I can come back and do some washes to show some decay and whatnot. And the wash will go in between the teeth and the gum and pop out the detail just a little bit more. Do his eyes real quick. All right, I think actually uh, what I'm gonna do now is go in with some red. A lot of going back and forth with just detail work with reds and burgundies, a lot of the shade, that blushing color I used to airbrush, I'll go in and I'll start adding the detail and where it needs to get darker. Little thing here of denatured alcohol and water, just to move some of this transparent color around, giving it a blotchy look on the skin. See like right there, it might look like a, a blood vessel. Now I'm just picking out some of the sculpt detail at the same purpley burgundy blush color. Usually I wouldn't do this with the sculpt because you don't want to overly, the sculpt should do the work and then your paint and highlights would do everything, but making them a little bit darker, giving them an eerie look. Since he's kind of looking down, I want to pop that under shadow, which may not be happening right now, but in a little bit, it'll start to pop a little bit more. Just want to add a little bit of red around the eyes to show some like irritation. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, outline the eye placement 
looking at the placement on the body, I placed where the eye should go, looking off to the side, off to the left, and a little up. So one eye is sculpted a little bit more squinted than the other, so I have to adjust for that. One will be adjusted with the way he's looking, just because of the shape of the eye. We don't want on him looking cross-eyed or something, or too far in. He's always going back and forth, too, to get it to look right, for that reason, it being a little different. Going for a, a green eye color. Not too light, though, because we still want to give him a dark, sinister look to him, so trying to find a good balance of a, of a green, not too light, not, or not too bright. Done with the color of the eyes, so now I'm going to go ahead and set in the pupil, which can always change, but I'm going in here with a transparent uh, shading gray. I'm going to add a little bit more of a, of a red under that, the bottom of the eye. All right, I think those are good to go. So I brought some of the flesh back in when I had blocked in the hair, and so now I'm going to go ahead and tone it down so it kind of bl feathers in a little bit more. That also gave me a chance to add some shading under the hat as well. Now I'll just blend it all back in and back to the top of his head since there might be a, a line there. So it looks funny now, but like that stuff is not going to get seen since the hat will probably most likely be on there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of add some more color uh, black into the eyebrows, basically just detailing them out. But really quick, since most of the color is there, it's just quick drag of the brush. Usually we'd be feathering in, but since the sculpt is so heavy and it's basically doing the work for me, I'm just tapping the tops once again, just popping out that detail a little bit. I'm going to dry brush some gray on the sides of his, of his hair. Just little things I'm noticing after doing the dry brush and whatnot, I want to go ahead and just define the hair. All right, now that I'm done, I'm going to add a, a satin gloss to the eyes and I'm going to add some satin around his mouth and teeth. Add up a little bit around the, the eyelids as well, just a little bit. I can always adjust it if I feel like, ah, oh, maybe, maybe not, but I just want to see, you know, give him a little bit of moisture around there, a little bit of perspiration or whatnot. I think it's pretty much dry. I'm going to go ahead and add the gloss on the iris and pupil area. And the gloss I just dab on, I don't brush it. All right, I think I'm happy with that since he's gonna have his hat on. He shouldn't have his eyes showing too much reflection, too much glossiness, cause then it'll look wet and we want it to look moody. Here he is, the Penguin Premium Format figure all wrapped up.